Hi everyone, I want to talk about pain treatment lesson 2. To enjoy this, please kindly check pain treatment lesson 1. Okay, thank you. This will be about neuropathic pain. What is neuropathic pain all about? Okay, let's go. What are the possible characteristics of neuropathic pain? It occurs without any trigger and could be parasitic in nature. There's possibility of tingling and numbness, that is, sensation of pins and needles. Could be triggered by cold temperature or cold aparagesia or heat. That is heat aparagesia. It could be shooting, burning, or stabbing. If you are shooting with insomnia, it's not relieved by rest. It might be central neuropathy pain or peripheral neuropathy pain. I'll stop for now because my focus is about treatment, but I'll make a separate video later on on neuropathy pain. What are the possible causes of neuropathy pain? If you go through many literatures, they might pull diabetes mellitus behind or at the middle. But I'm going to talk about that first, diabetes mellitus, neuropathy pain. Carbatonin syndrome, facial nerve palsy, tic douloureux, that is trigeminal neuralgia. And I wrote here, ask me about carbamazepine. Carbamazepine was actually manufactured originally to treat tic douloureux. Okay? Carbamazepine was originally manufactured to treat tic douloureux, that is trigeminal neuralgia, fifth cranial nerve neuralgia, hepatic neuralgia, radiculopathy, chemotherapy or radiation could all cause neuropathic pain. Also on the list will be multiple sclerosis, multiple myeloma, Phantom limb syndrome. Now, the limb is already amputated, but the individual will still be feeling the pain as if the limb is dry right there. Shingles, that is, chicken pulse in immunocompressed individuals. In those days, the cell is follows the dermatone and will never cross the midline. We now know it could cross the midline, though it's still going to follow the dermatome but it could cause the midline in severely immunocompromised individuals. HIV and syphilis could also cause neuropathic pain. You could see that the list is pretty long. The approach will start with non-pharmacological treatment, and that will involve realization techniques like breathing realization, acupuncture, physical therapy, occupational therapy, pet therapy, music therapy, gel packs, eyes or heat application, massage or aerobic exercise. I must tell you the truth. All these non-pharmacological measures might do nothing to neuropathic pain, but it is noteworthy to mention that first, as what well to try and see what to get out of it before loading the individual with pharmacological agents that have a lot of side effects. Okay. Pain ladder must be considered. The World Health Organization has brought out this. You might not strictly follow it, but it's going to be a great guide. Honestly, it's going to help. If you take it from bottom 
to the top. The bottom, the first thing to think of when you want to start anyone that is in pain on an adjustment, or you are sick, you are in pain, and you have been placed on medication, you don't know where you belong here. So the first layer down there is non-opioid medications. That is, your paracetamol, depending on where you are, the surface of the earth, or time of law, you know, different countries, different trade names, but the generic is acetaminophen. Okay, if that is not working, you progress to non steroid anti inflammatory drugs. And I must tell you that, in fact, some particular types of pain, particularly neuropathy pain, we don't even try this first layer at all because you just go to adjuvant therapy right away and with or without opioids. Okay. So you try that aspirin with or without adjuvants like tricyclic, antidepressant, venlafazine, and gabapentin. If that is not solving the problem, you move to the second layer. That is to those who are having mild to moderate pain, then you can give your opioid and you start with you know, those ones with uh, moderate potency. Um, codeine, tramadol, ozicodone, with or without non opioid, with or without adjuvant. Sometimes we even combine all these, pick one one from each class, you know, depending on the severity of the pain. Okay, if you're not winning, you can move to the next level, that is. Those who are having moderate to severe pain, and that will be the top of the ladder. And at that level, you are going to choose strong opioids like morphine, pentane, and aromorphone. You can add non opioid agents like aminophen or incels or adjuvant like cyclic antidepressant, velamvacine, or gabapentin depending on how severe the situation is and the response you are getting. If you are winning, you might limit it to morphine or fentanyl or adromorphone, or if you are concerned about the side effect, respiratory depression, or this is an elderly person, and so many factors, you can just go for the adjuvants and you now with or without non opioids Okay, you are sure of the diagnosis now, and you are determined to place this individual on medication, and you've gone through the non-pharmacological interventions, and you want to try neuromodulation. Okay, the next thing is to treat any specific diagnosis. We can also apply topical agents like lidocaine, or capsaicin, botrin, or pensate. You can go for local anesthetic agents, and calcium channel blockers are welcome. Remember, we are dealing with neuropathy pain, okay? Pregabalin or gabapentin is fine. Selective Nephrine reoptic inhibitors like dulocetina is important. The lamvacine are uh, welcomed. Tricyclic antidepressant like amitriptyline and nortriptyline for the elderly men and women are also welcomed. But just be very careful with possible side effects. Okay, we are still dealing with our neuropathy pain. Now we want to continue on possible medications that we can use. How about anti epileptic drops? Okay, we'll go for vaporic acid first. But you have to watch out for the side effects. I have a separate presentation on anti epileptic drops, so you can check out my channel.
Now you want to come to a B family, the opioids. Parents name, hydromorphone, mm -hmm. you can choose from a door or steroids. NMDA antagonists like betrometrophan at a very high dosage was like ketamine. Xanidine or baclofen to realize the spasm with linium toxin, intrateca ziconotide, and of course surgery. You could see if you follow this presentation very well when it came to neuropathy pain, I didn't start with opioids. Okay? You could see where I placed the opioid. After trying many of those adjuvants, before mentioning the opioids, because I'm running away from the possible side effects of those opioids. And with that, I've come to the end of the treatment, medication of neuropathic pain. Like I made the promise earlier, I'll make a separate presentation later on on neuropathic pain details from A to Z. But for now, you can see that you have many choices when it comes to treatment of neuropathic pain. And I'll move on to nociceptive pain next. Kindly subscribe to my channel so that you can get my publications immediately they are released. Thank you.